Hey everybody, Tony Mejia here for Playbook Experts, PlaybookSports.com. Ready to preview the remaining NBA season now that the college basketball season is wrapped up. And uh, we're going to be focusing on pro basketball going forward in addition to Major League Baseball and International Soccer. I uh, do well in all three, so you can check out my pick packages at pb.buzz/tm. We'll also have some free plays, and I'll have a free play at the end of this video. I was watching the uh, Women's Basketball National Championship just like most of you, but we also had some fantastic regular season NBA ball uh, complementing that, which might have gone under the radar uh, while the uh, South Carolina Gamecocks were finishing off the Iowa Hawkeyes. The Houston Rockets were building up a huge lead against Dallas in Dallas. And yet the Mavericks were able to rally thanks to Adante Exum three-pointer to force overtime. Luka Doncic trusted him with the final shot. And then in the OT, Kyrie Irving took over. So you notice that that team is gelling with other guys not named Lucas stepping up. Doncic and Irving combined for 85 points. And the Mavericks trimmed their magic number to avoid the play-in down to two. And it looks like they might be as high as the number five seed in the Western Conference. As uh, things now shake out, entering the final week, no games on Monday. So action take, uh, tips back up on Tuesday. No games on Saturday either. So the Friday-Sunday swing will ultimately decide matters as term, in terms of uh, seeding in the NBA. And listen, be, be, besides what uh, Dallas was able to do, we had heroics at Crypto.com Arena as Paul George made big plays on both sides of the ball with a game-winning shot and a game-saving block to beat the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cavs were up by 26 points in that game, and uh, both teams will probably be able to look towards uh, what happened in the second half of that as uh, determining factors in where they end up uh, come Sunday night because that was a huge comeback from the Clippers, and uh, the Cavaliers were on the verge of potentially catching the Milwaukee Bucks who lost to the New York Knicks later that night, their fourth straight loss. Uh, for the Central Division lead and potentially the number two seed. So we'll see how that things shake out the rest of the week. We also had the Pelicans catch the Phoenix Suns for the number six seed. Zion Williamson played the best game of his pro career, broke out the mid-range game for uh, the first time in a long time. Uh, it's a rarity to see him go mid-range. And his best defensive game by a ton uh, really says that he ha is starting to take pride because he – Felt the teams were picking on him defensively. Ended up with five blocks against Phoenix. Suns still hold the tiebreaker for number six. But again, we'll see what how things shake out this week. Phoenix plays the Clippers twice this week uh, in, in a home and home. That's going to go a long way. And the Pelicans will be uh, also facing tough challenges. So at this point, I would say that New Orleans has a shot to finish sixth. But the Suns still control their own destiny. They just have to win out to make sure that uh, they end up out of the play-in. A team that won't end up out of the play-in, in my opinion, is the Miami Heat. Uh, they lost a 117-115 to 115 decision in Indiana against the Pacers. Indiana really controlled that game from start to finish and smartly fouled Tyler Hero up three with uh, in the final seconds to ensure that uh, there were no heroics from Miami's uh, standpoint. And so now Miami, which uh, does have games against the Hawks, and Mavericks and a, a, a pair of home games to end the season this weekend against the Raptors can win out and still not uh, reach the top six. Uh, and I think that's going to end up happening because Indiana has a light schedule. They uh, play at Cleveland midweek in their toughest game, but also play at Toronto and against the Hawks to finish off the regular season. So they're looking good to finish top six. And if they do falter, the Philadelphia 76ers can win out if they beat the um, my Orlando Magic midweek since their other games are at home against Detroit and Brooklyn who have both thrown in the towel. So the Sixers are surging. Joel Embiid is back. Uh, still needs to work on his conditioning, but certainly looks like the guy that was the MVP front runner when he went down with a knee injury. So the Sixers look suddenly resurgent. They'll probably end up being the number seven seed and host the Heat as the number eight in the play-in. The 9-10 looks like it's going to be Chicago and Atlanta. And it is yet to be deciphered who will be the home game in that elimination contest. Currently, the Bulls are in the driver's seat for that. 
we've got the Celtics, obviously, as the number one seed, and the fading Bucks, who have lost uh, four in a row, fell to the Knicks, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, it, it was a situation where Giannis Antetokounmpo came back, looked great. Then him, Damian Lillard, and uh, Chris Middleton have not been in the lineup for all these losses against lowly teams. So I was curious to see how they would fare against the Knicks. And they were up double digits uh, in the second quarter of that game. But then Middleton got smacked in the mouth by former teammate Dante DiVincenzo, ended up not returning, and uh, the Bucks fell apart. So whether you want to question Doc Rivers' coaching, you want to question whether the Lillard-Giannis experiment is ultimately going to work out, uh, the Bucks have some things to iron out as uh, the final week of the regular season rolls around. We'll see if they can even hold on to the number two seed and the Central Division title. They bet the Orlando Magic twice, including a, a game in Central Florida on Sunday that could ultimately decide whether they are two or uh, fall all the way down to losing home court advantage. So uh, dire straits there in Milwaukee. I don't think uh, Middleton's injury is going to keep him out long. So uh, we'll see if uh, with their backs against the ball, the Bucks can ultimately respond and salvage uh, what right now looks like to be a season that's slipping away. Uh, so the East is looking like this. Uh, you got the Knicks still uh, floating around, trying to get up as high as two. If they can swing it, Julius Randle will not be coming back. So uh, what you see is what you get from New York, and they've been resilient today to their credit. You got the Cavaliers, despite that 26-point loss, looking like they'll finish as a top four. Uh, Philadelphia looking like they'll finish seventh, but could potentially get as high as sixth. And the annual being that makes it some uh, in some capacity. Uh, and it's it's basically the Boston Celtics invitational in the Eastern Conference. But we'll see if the Orlando Magic can climb as high as two or uh, or settle in at four. And again, they have a, a tough game against the Bucks on the road and then at home on Sunday to see how that shakes out. In the uh, West, you've got the Lakers and the Warriors likely to meet in the elimination game uh, for the play-in, the 9-10, with the Lakers likely to host. But we'll see what happens on Tuesday uh, to, to uh, cement that because the Warriors face the Lakers. Uh, and uh, how that game shakes out will dictate how the week breaks down for both teams uh, since Golden State may choose to rest players if they lose that game uh, and locks, are locked in at number 10. The Lakers still on the hunt for that number eight seed to avoid uh, the double elimination scenario. And uh, it really hurt them that LeBron James came down with flu-like symptoms. Uh, Anthony Davis got poked in the eye. Then Minnesota Timberwolves were able to take advantage, winning by 10 at Crypto.com Arena in Sunday's final game. So the Timberwolves are now right there with the Denver Nuggets atop the Western Conference. Those teams play on Wednesday. Second night of a back-to-back -back for both in Denver. Nuggets will be favored. Wolves have an opportunity, though, to stun the world and, fi uh, and finish top seed in the West if they can pull off that upset and, uh, and finish unscathed the rest of the way. They may or may not get Carl Anthony Towns back, so we'll see what happens there. But certainly, uh, the Wolves have proven resilient in uh, surviving without him over the past few weeks. Uh, again, Suns and Pelicans will dictate who finishes in the sixth spot and who hosts the play-in game. The Kings are still floating around. They've got tough games. And uh, you've got the, the Pelicans who play both the uh, the, the Clippers, uh, both the Lakers and Warriors, and, and, and uh, Sacramento also right there in that mix. So ton to be decided there in the back half of the Western Conference playoff picture. Uh, one, two, three, four in some capacity will be the uh, Denver, Minnesota winner as, as one. Denver, Minnesota loser is two. Oklahoma City looks pretty destined to be three. The Clippers will be four. And it's looking like Dallas will probably end up at number five. So a ton to watch out for in the final week of the regular season. Come to PlayBookSports.com for picks from myself and uh, all our other handicappers. I'll have free plays like the one I'm about to give out up on my page uh, on every night, in, not only in the NBA, but potentially in soccer as well. I like the Spurs over the Grizzlies on Tuesday night. San Antonio's Victor Wembanyama is wrapping up a Rookie of the Year campaign in style, just playing the best ball of anybody in all of basketball. I mean, it, it, it really, whether you're going ahead of the playoffs or not, uh, he's right there with Luka Doncic and Nikola Jokic 
and uh, in, in terms of being as the most dominant player on the court every time he steps on the floor. Jaron Jackson Jr. has been in and out of the lineup for Memphis. So I like San Antonio, despite the fact that uh, they've lost two key players, Jeremy Sohan uh, and uh, their other guard to uh, season ending injuries. So San Antonio is still afloat right now. Pushed Philly the other night, will beat Memphis, uh, grab the Spurs over the Grizzlies on Tuesday night. And again, Join us at playbooksports.com. Join me at pb.buzz slash tm and like and subscribe on our YouTube channel for uh, playbooksports.com and the Playbook Experts. I'm Tony Mejia. Good luck this week.